Lord your God, hallelujah. We greet the church with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I invite those that can to stand up in reverence to the reading of the word of the Lord, which is in John chapter 20, verse Verse 13, 13 and 14, 13, 14, 15 and 16, only here, until here. So then you don't have to spend the entire service reading the word. John 13 says the following. John. 20 no verse 13 to 17 right verse sing verse 13 everyone have everyone opened the, the the Bible those that don't have the Bible it's here on the projection John 20. Chapter 20, from verse 13. Then they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Now when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there and did not know that he it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She, supposing he to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him and I will take him away Jesus said to her Mary she turned she turned and said to him Rabboni which is to say teacher the church may be seated my beloved brethren the word of the Lord Tonight, it speaks of a moment the moment after the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Because Jesus had told her, Jesus has said that he was going to resurrect on the third day. And this fact actually happened because the word of Jesus is truth because he himself said um, the way the truth and life right so then we have here a trilogy the path the truth and the life And here, the word describes describes a woman that loved loved the Lord Jesus while he was here in his ministry, his his earthly ministry, and uh, during his three years of ministry, this woman had an experience, it was a wonderful experience with the Lord Jesus. It was an experience that was a highlight in her life.
So then when she saw this Jesus she loved that Jesus that one day operated in her life. He had died. She was anguished. Surely. She was even without a direction in her life because from the moment in which she had that experience with the Lord she began to f follow Jesus because Jesus is the way he's not one path he is the way this way this um, what is well defined she knew the way she began to walk on the way because she found in Jesus the path the truth and the life because Jesus when man has a meeting with Jesus he meet man finds in Jesus what complements his life he finds in Jesus direction which is the way man finds truth because man comes from a situation in which man hasn't had hasn't had a, a meeting with truth a man lives in a world of illusions um, a world of deceit so then when meet Jesus man meets with truth not a relative truth not a human truth but an eternal truth right like that Samaritan woman there when she had a meeting with Jesus her life changed completely So then Mary, there, she goes to the tomb to lament, to remember Jesus, because she was in a moment in which uh, a moment of great sadness, of disillusionment, and now she was thinking with herself what is going to happen to my life that man that Jesus that always had a word of encouragement a word of eternal life that man that one day took her out of a difficult situation so then everything was over in her life so then she went there, she went seeking Jesus. She was there to bring to Jesus the incense, her contribution. So then when she was there, she began to cry. She began to cry and in the first place she didn't remember she didn't remember of a prophecy of the Lord because Jesus said that he was going to resurrect on the third day but she as she was facing that situation she forgot and it's very common to man to us to forget of the promises of the Lord when the situation comes that afflict us a situation that brings sadness to us it's very common when like when the two disciples 
in the road to Emmaus when they were in Jerusalem and that they witnessed the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus, the moment of suffering and pain. But when that time passed, the word says that they distanced from Jesus from Jerusalem. So sadness took hold of their hearts. And now they distanced themselves from the project of the Lord. It's very common to men for men to do this. And it was not different with this woman. She was seeking a Jesus that was dead, a Jesus that could no longer do anything uh, for her life. So then the word says that while she was there crying, Jesus approached her and says, Woman, why are you crying? And who are you seeking? And my beloved, man is always seeking something. And sometimes in this incessant search, there are moments in which uh, man cries. Man is always searching for something new, searching for new uh, the knowledge. Man is always anxious for for something. That's why Jesus asked that woman, "What I, what are you seeking?" And why have we come here tonight? What have we come to seek? That's what the Lord is asking you, is asking me. What are we seeking? Why are you crying? Maybe you entered here crying. Your soul, your soul is crying. And now Jesus is asking you today, what are you seeking? Because Jesus, He is alive. He is amongst us. Jesus is not there in that tomb. Jesus is no longer dead. But Jesus is alive. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My beloved, that woman, She continued in that situation. And it was a moment in which she asked that man that until that point she had not recognized that was Jesus. She even thought he was the gardener, the gardener in that place. So then, Jesus reveal himself to that woman in a moment in a moment that he says Mary right because Jesus he reveals himself to man in the moment that he calls us because each one of us have had a call from the Lord we are all here because we have been called by the Lord. And at the moment in which Jesus said Mary, then she understood. And she said Rabboni, which means Master. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My beloved, there is a call for each one of us. And the question is, have you heard the voice of the Lord? 
Surely. You entered here tonight because of an, an invitation from someone. Surely you entered here because of a, an impulse of your soul. We remember that man that um, that man called Simon he was propelled by the Holy Spirit to go to a church and there at the moment in which he was in the church Jesus was introduced and he received his blessing blessed be the name of the Lord you didn't enter here to hear the voice of man to hear the voice of the preacher but to hear the voice of the Lord in, like in that day in which Mary heard the voice of the Lord not of a Jesus that was um, badly dressed, poorly dressed. Not a Jesus man, but a Jesus resurrected. Jesus that had been resurrected. My beloved, we're going to only be able to be victorious if we have heard the voice of this Jesus who whom is resurrected, not the historical Jesus, not the Jesus that we heard about one day, not the Jesus that sometimes is presented to us in a way even uh, very beautiful. Not the, this Jesus that we is not this Jesus that we're speaking about here. But we are proclaiming about a Jesus that resurrected and is coming back. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My beloved, the Lord also has shown that tonight entered here a woman. And you are going through a great financial difficulty. And at the end of each month, you are you're questioning yourself how am I why how have I been able to pay all my debts and you're questioning to the Lord how have you been able to pay all your debts but it is because the Lord has provided for you all your necessities for your life and tonight the Lord is presenting to you something greater than just to pay your bills. The Lord is presenting to you salvation. Not only Jesus for this life, but Jesus for an eternal life. And that's what we are proclaiming here. Apostle, Apostle Paul says the following. He says, if we wait for Jesus only for this life, we are miserable. Because Jesus don't want to just give you life in this world, but he also wants to give you an eternal life. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Lord also has shown a man that this week he's going to have a big trial a big trial to overcome he came to the church he's opening up his heart and asking Lord am I ready for this battle and the Lord is rejoicing about with his sincerity and the Lord is giving you the means to be victorious in this battle blessed be the name of the Lord because our God 
is a victorious God. And Jesus says this, I overcame the world and you will be victorious as well. May God bless us tonight and that we may be seeking the Lord. Not that historical Jesus, but the Jesus resurrected, the Jesus who is alive that will come back. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let us praise the name of the Lord with song.
church standing. Peace of the Lord. I'd like to share with the church uh, uh, an experience about this song that was in Valadares and a great trial, a financial struggle. I was in my my bedroom crying. I was asking Lord, give me give me a um, blessing to overcome this. And then I heard a choir singing this song. And then this choir left. When I heard and I noticed that it was God. And then I, I kept praying and then I heard it once again. So then I fell on my knee speaking in tongues and then I went to speak with my wife my my wife the Lord has delivered me completely the Lord proved to us that he loves us if you if you uh, don't go through trials you you don't uh, see the, the love of God in your life Lord that's my my trial whoever doesn't have trials is lying but the one who trusts in the Lord, the Lord operates. Amen. Yeah. Well, we praise once and once again. Speak to fulfill another revelation of the Lord. We thank you for everything, Lord, for your great love and your mercy. We we, tr we know that we believe in a God that is coming back to to bless His church. We thank you for everything, Lord, and we want to say. That the one, the Lord Jesus, sweet and tender consolation of the Holy Spirit, be with the whole people of the Lord now and forever. Amen. If you want a prayer, we have nothing to give you, but the Lord has. Remain where you are. The archers and deacons are here, we, and we're going to pray in your favor, asking a blessing for, from the Lord to you. You, you tell us your problem and we're going to pray for you an infirmity trial amen there are trials of every type and the Lord re uh, resolves any problem amen I just want to uh, inform that after the assistance we're going to have a, a quick meeting with the group A And this week we have uh, uh, the instruction about the uh, seeking uh, the fasting and f in favor of the children intermediary on the uh, uh, also for the seminar on the April fifteenth. And I say the peace of the Lord to everyone.